Hey guys, it's Dr. Berg here. I'm going to show you how to fix plantar fasciitis. It's the easiest thing to fix. The way that they teach us in school, honestly, is it takes too long. This is a shortcut and you can try this on yourself or friends and it will work very fast, okay? But the thing you need to do first is just rate the pain, 10 being very severe, zero being no pain, and then do the procedure and then re-rate it. And I want you to put your comments below because I want to know how much improvement that this gave you. Okay, so the first thing you do is uh, take a look at, if plantar fasciitis is some pain in the bottom of your foot right here. There's a fascia, it's, that, it's a bunch of, uh, like a sheath of collagen um, connected tissue that becomes inflamed in the bottom of your foot. And by the way, this technique can be used on flat feet too. The worst thing you could do is to stretch the calf okay, or massage the bottom of the foot. That will never work. That makes it worse because you're going to be tearing things. What we want to do is we want to stretch the opposite. We want to stretch the toes going downward and then relax. Stretch the toes down and relax. What you're doing is you're stretching all the muscles on the top of the foot, the tendons, and the, the shin uh, muscles right here called the anterior tibialis. So we want to stretch all these muscles, not the calf. Very important. So you do this about 10 times, okay? Just stretch it, stretch it really good, and you can do the other side. We're stretching down this way, okay? I mean, you could do it up to 20 times. Now, if this is difficult for you, you could just go ahead and get on your couch or your bed and sit on your, um, your feet like this and let your butt sit on the heels and press down, if you could do this. If you can't, you can put a pillow between your butt and your legs, but you want to stretch this, and really, you're stretching the front part of your legs. What's happening is you're sending signals from the stretching to the other part, because they're both on electrical circuit, and you're going to start to create uh, relaxation in your foot right here. So you do that stretch, and then you you re-rate how you feel, and you should feel wonderful. Again, it's good for flat feet or anything in the bottom of your foot, any pain in the bottom of your foot. And, I mean, it's just the opposite of what people are doing, unfortunately, but, and it's going to take too long. But this, if you do this like once a day for a week, it probably would never come back. Unless you have some systemic problem, some arthritis or gout, which you have uric acid crystals in there, in which case you would have to change your diet, get off any sugar, eat more vegetables, but Given your diet is good and you do this, it's a no-brainer. It just will go away and it probably will never come back, okay? Check it out, do it, and put some comments below.